What's up, everybody? It's your main man here, DJ Brown the Mechanic, back with another video. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing out there today? So, yeah, guess what? Y'all see the background? Yeah, you already know what time it is. You know, whenever I'm in the garage, you know, we got some work to be done. So, this time here, I'm going to be working on my daughter's car, so I finally got a chance to get around to it. So, uh, I'm ready to get to work on it. But hey, look, before we begin, look, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell. You know why? So that way you won't miss out on a video. So yeah, like I was saying, so I'm finally getting the chance to do a little work on my daughter's car. So it's been overdue. You know, we've been busy. Uh, you know, finally, you know, got everything moved into the new house. So, you know, it was a lot going on. So, so I had to put a lot of projects on the back end. You know what I mean? So they had to wait. So now I got the chance now. So, hey, look, let's get this done. I know you're probably wondering, okay, what am I about to work with on her car, right? Okay, I got you covered. So let me show you. Hey, I'm back, I'm back. Hey, look, y'all remember this right here? Yeah, that's right, the Wolfbox GA40S. Yes, sir, a dash cam mirror. That's what we're going to install today, y'all. So yeah, finally, finna get a chance to do that. I can't wait myself because I already have uh, one installed in uh, Nancy's car and my car. So I already have those installed. So now we gotta get uh, my big girl right. So, you know, she has a regular uh, mirror in hers. So we go get that straight there. You no know, kind of update a little bit, you know, hey, look. I tell you one thing, I would advise everybody to go and invest in you a dash cam. The reason why, think about it. If something happened to your car while you out on the highway, you know, like, you know, you get into an accident or something, that dash cam would be proof showing that it wasn't your fault or what happened, you know, if the other person caused it. So, that's why, hey, I keep stressing about, hey, go buy you a dash cam, y'all. Telling you, it'll pay off in the end for you. Believe it. So, yeah, this is my daughter's uh, Toyota Corolla 2023. So, yeah, you gonna do a little work to it. Like I said, we gonna add that mirror to it. Uh, I definitely want to upgrade her factory tweeters also i already have the uh the wire adapters for those uh just a matter of getting to it you know but first thing first we will concentrate on that mirror uh i don't have i don't have the hard wire kit because I wanted to hardwire it so that way you know she can have the parking monitor and all that on you know so when she park her car it'll be able to record and all that so I don't have that right now so uh in the meanwhile I'm gonna just go ahead and install that for her. so that'll be good there so I know first thing first, I know I got to, man. So I'm gonna have to pull up the wiring diagram for her car. Uh, just to see, then again, I might not have to, but it's still uh, a good thing to do just to pull up the wiring diagram, you know, just to get familiarized with the wires but really and truly, I need to find D1 just for her reverse lights. So, 
And I'm looking on this car here. So I see, okay, so here go the white bulbs right here. And what is this? So these are yellow bulbs. So these must be the hazard bulbs. So that means, hmm, that her reverse, wait a minute. So it could be her reverse wire is on the trunk lid. Cause I know it was the same way on the Camry. When I installed that one, the reverse wire was on the trunk lid. So if that's the case, y'all, I'm going to have to like take this cover off and tap into the wires. But you see the flex loom right here. It comes down, goes right behind here somewhere. So, hmm. Yeah, this is going to be challenging, no doubt. Trying to figure that out there. So, yeah. So, I'm definitely going to have to do that. And, and a reason for that, too, not only just so. It can show what's in the you no know, in the rear because that dash cam mirror it comes with a rear view camera so you can see exactly what's behind you so when you're driving it can record the front and the back so so yeah I got to uh, hmm, find a spot to mount the camera I think I pretty much got a spot already. What I want to uh, do. So, spot to mount the camera uh, and tap into the reverse wire. Like I said, so that means uh, this cover gonna have to come off, no doubt. So, definitely gotta do that. So, yeah. And while I'm at it, uh, yeah, I gotta get my. Gonna get my daughter's uh, car a good detailing, y'all. Y'all see, it's a little junky there, you know. Yeah, we just ain't had time to really get to anything, especially with all this rain been going on. So, yep. So I got double duty, y'all. Uh, got a detail the inside for and try and do this camera. So, look. Without any further ado, y'all, look. Let's just go ahead and unbox this camera so y'all can see exactly what we have. Show y'all what all come in the box, so y'all might want to get one of these. I'm telling you. Yes, sir. All right. Flip this bad boy down here. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this here. Like I said, this right here, the Wolfbox G840S. Go ahead and take that off. Look, just to show you some of the things that's on here, the functions and everything, look. This for the resolution of the camera that, look, you got 4K and 1080p. You got super night vision, GPS. That shows you, uh, you know, what direction that you're traveling. I mean, y'all gotta see it, you know, if you haven't, and hey, look, check out my old video, which I installed it in my car, another car, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here. Now, this one right here is a 12 inch touchscreen. Got a G sensor on it and parking monitor. That's right. So, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy here. Y'all see it flips out easily. Take out the foam. They got a nice protected. So look, here is the mirror right here. Yes, sir. Y'all see it come all covered up and everything. There's the front camera on it. Y'all see it's all covered up real good. That's right. So let's set it to the side. So this is everything that comes in the box when you buy it. Uh, right here, this is your 
GPS antenna right here. And this right here is your power cord. And best thing about this one here, it has a, look, USB on the inside. So look, you can still charge something so you don't really lose your cigarette lighter like talking about it, but yes. So that is the power cord. Uh, these are the little mounting, uh, what you call these, the little rubber pieces for the uh, mirror. I definitely show y'all what to do with those. Uh, let's see here. We got some more. So we got two different sizes right here. Okay. Set that off to the side. We got the wolf box card. Just in case you need any service. Look, there's the email address right there. That's their phone number. And this right here looks like their Instagram account. What's on the back here? Okay, that's from Amazon, yeah. Of course, you know that's where I shop at. Uh, they give you a rag right here for the wipe your mirror. And these are some wire clips right here for the hold the wires. But I'm gonna definitely show you well, I'm gonna run mine still on here. And this right here is for the camera. And here is the backup camera itself right here. Yep, nice little bit of wire on it. And this red wire here, that's the one that we're going to need to attach to the reverse light. Well, no, reverse wire. So when you put the car in reverse, it'll automatically turn the camera on. So that's your camera. And of course they give you a little tool. And here is the manual right there. And they give you also a little quick guide. So here's a look at the quick guide right here. So this right here is showing that uh, the rear camera can be installed both inside and outside the car, but we recommend installing it outside for clear footage. Yeah, look, that makes sense now. You know? That definitely makes sense because you want a clear view of what's behind you. And look, this was size SD card you can use for this one. Look, it said, please choose a 32 gig up to 256 gig U3 class D SD card. Yes, indeed. You know what? I'm gonna get her the 256. Yes, I'm gonna get her that. So that way she'll have plenty of space for the record while she's driving and all that. Uh, like I said, this is the usual manual here. So that's about it, y'all. So that's everything right there. So that's all of it. But, so I gotta get my game plan together, you know, how I'm gonna uh, do everything. I already know how the front going, so there ain't gonna be no problem now. Just uh, running the rear camera. So yeah, I'm gonna have fun with that. Uh, other than that, that's probably really the only difficult thing, really, you know, the rear camera installation. Uh, but hey, gotta do it. But before I begin though, I'm uh, I'm gonna detail the inside of her car first before I even get started. So once I get the inside cleaned out, then I'm gonna get back with y'all and we gonna get the start to working on this right here. That's right. 
So let me get the cleaning. I will get right back with y'all. All right, y'all. So look, I'm gonna just do a little sample run right quick. I got the power cord hooked up. So let's see what we look like. Ah, right, there we go. Look at that. Y'all see it light up? And look at that. Boom. See that? That's a good front visual right there. So it's, look, look at it. Matter of fact, it's already recording already, right off the top. Y'all see that? It started recording right off the top. As soon as I plugged it in, so. Hey, look, that's how it should look. Now, see, I tried to swipe and see it said real camera is not detected, so. I don't have a real camera hooked up just yet, so I will hook that up. But yeah, just had to give y'all a little, little sample there of how it worked that little bit, well, how it powers on. So that's how it looks. All right, so let me turn it off. So see, it turns off with the switch right there. So no, I don't have the hard wire uh, kit for it, which I can hard wire it and uh, for it to uh, enable to uh, move, fly, uh, do the parking monitor and everything. But, hey, it looked pretty good that coming on. So uh, the rest of the game plan is I need to go ahead and run these wires. And I need to hook up the GPS one. I'm going to mount it like right over here in this corner, hide the wire. Uh, Tap into the back end. So, hey, look, once I finish, hey, I'm gonna show y'all the uh, result. So, now nah, I'm not gonna take it through the whole installation. Now, nah, if I did, it's gonna, look, it's gonna take some time now, nah, you know. So, the main point is, hey, locate your power source. Now, nah, if you plan on hardwiring it, uh, find your fuse box that's on the inside of your car and Basically, just select whatever one that turns on and off uh, with your ignition switch. So that's one power option. Second power option is the cord that's supplied with it. This one right here, you can plug into your cigarette lighter. So you have that option. And the next spot, of course. Oh, that's a mosquito. Oh, yeah, buddy, you got to get out of here. Man, look, these bugs have something else. And the next option, of course. Uh, we go mount the GPS antenna. We go mount it, like I said, right here on this corner. Run the wires underneath the panel right there. Same thing with the rear camera wire. We go run it same way. Hide it all the way through, run it to the back. And find a reverse wire. And connect it, mount everything up. And that's it, so... I uh, will get back with y'all once I get everything finished. Okay, okay, everybody. We got the Corolla all done. Y'all ready to check it out. Just to show you the inside, look at this. You don't see no wires hanging, nowhere. Open up this bag though right quick. Hold on, let's get a little more extra light in there. Come on. That's right. You don't see no wires hanging nowhere. No wires, nowhere. Let's hop in. And once again, you see no wires, nowhere in sight. Everything looked like it came from the factory there. That's a little dark right here. But, hey, the mirror is installed. So, hey, let's go ahead and crank it up right quick. Squeeze up some. All right. 
Let's start the car up. There we go. Comes on. All right, that's the rear there. So that's what's in the back. Look, slide to the right. Look at that, that's the front right there. That's right. So now, put it in reverse. Look at that. That's right, so not only do you have the factory one, you got the one on the mirror too. Look, put it back in park. Boom. Back to the beginning now. That's right. Yes, sir. It is all done. All completed now. Yes, indeed. Go, on. Go ahead and show y'all the trunk lid right quick. Y'all see everything all put together. You can tell I added some extra wire there because you'll see the, the little zip ties there. So it's all zip tied together. That way nothing is hanging at all. Let me get this all lined up right quick. Y'all see the camera right there? There it is. Got it mounted. That's the factory camera right there. And it's the new one right there. All mounted. She is good to go. Yeah, we gotta do a little sprucing up back in the trunk, but yeah. Everything is functional. No problem. Yep, that is it, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it. Looks good, don't it? Put my hand in the front, see? Now I'm in front of the camera right there. But yeah. And look, it's a little dark outside. And look how it look on this screen right here. That's a nice looking view there. Now if I want to look at the back. Look, it's white. Look at that, now I got both of them, front and back. There we go, that's the rear. And back to the front again. So I'm gonna probably most likely leave it on the rear for her. So that way she can see exactly what's behind her. Oh, check this out, y'all, look. So I can adjust the picture how I look in the back. Look at this here. That is wild, ain't it? Yeah, buddy. So that's what's up there. So that is it, y'all. She is hooked up. Finally got it straight. Now, I still want to upgrade those tweeters for her. So, yeah, I I'm going to do that uh, another day there. You know, show y'all how we go do the little upgrade for that. But other than that, hey, the camera is fixed up looking good like i said you don't see nothing nowhere oh let me see where i lights it yep you can't really see but yeah you don't see no wires and i have it running directly into her center console right up in there so she got all the cards and everything so she should be good all right that is it y'all i am done so y'all look, tell me what y'all think. Comment below what y'all think about the camera. Now. This right here is a 12 inch dash cam right here. I like it, looks good. So hey, look, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell, y'all, so you won't miss out on a video. Yeah, man, another install done. That's right, you know me. Hey, on to the next one, you know it. So, all right, y'all, I'll check y'all later.